What's up guys, David here, and the iPhone 10 and the Galaxy Note 8s are two of the best smartphones in the world right now, but each of them brings different things to the table. So in this two part video series, we're gonna be comparing them phone book style, looking at a bunch of reasons why the iPhone 10 can be considered better than the Note in this video, and why the Note can be considered better in the next video, which I'll be linking for you down below in the description. After watching both videos, be sure to vote for which phone you thought had the stronger reasons. But with that said, let's go ahead and get right into it. Make your iPhone 10 modular with the Rhino Shield mod case, which can not only protect your phone from drops of at least 11 feet, but can change and be added onto according to your needs. Learn more at the link below. Reason number one dual speakers. Love it or hate it, that notch at the top of the iPhone 10 does allow for a better audio experience, with a speaker at the top of the phone and on the bottom of the phone, giving you stereo sound that is not only significantly louder, but it's also fuller than the single firing speaker on the Note 8, which sounds almost tinny in comparison. Two two-tone quad LED flash. The LED light on the back of the iPhone 10 not only supports slow sync flash, where you can light subjects in the foreground of photos without losing all the detail in the background, but it also works better as just a regular flashlight, with it being easier to access from the lock screen, being brighter than the LED on the Note 8, and with its brightness being user adjustable. Three. Taptic engine. The vibration motor on the iPhone 10 offers a wider range of frequencies than the one on the Note 8. So when you interact with certain things on the screen, the phone responds in a way that feels a lot more natural. Pushing in on an icon feels like a click instead of a vibrate, scrolling through certain menus feels like spinning a mechanical wheel, and the special haptic feedback in supported games makes things just that much more immersive. Four, 3D touch. The entire screen on the iPhone 10 is pressure sensitive, which opens the door for all types of things like toggling through different app shortcuts, shooting a gun in a game by pushing in on the screen instead of needing a separate trigger button, and easily moving the cursor on the keyboard in any direction. Reason number five, slow motion. So you can go back and forth as to which phone produces better photos, but when it comes to slow motion video, the iPhone 10 is the clear winner, with it being capable of shooting 4K resolution at 60 frames per second and getting 240 frames per second at 1080p, which is double what you can get on the Note 8. 6. Augmented Reality The iPhone 10 was built with augmented reality in mind, with it having not just a dual camera system on the back, but the true depth camera system on the front. Meaning, not only can you do things like play AR games on your coffee table or get dimensions with virtual measuring tape, but you can also do things with a front camera like getting a 3D scan of your face to help you find the perfect pair of glasses. These are just a few examples of what AR can already do, with way more coming in the future. 7. Better App Experience it's no secret that app developers prioritize for iOS, which results in not only apps and app updates coming to iOS first, but apps also seem to generally run better on the iPhone. Eight. Accessory Ecosystem Similar to app developers, accessory manufacturers prioritize for the iPhone as well since there aren't that many different iPhone models compared to Android phones. So if you want a sweet docking station or a camera lens case or other cool accessories, you're much more likely to find one for the iPhone 10 than you are for the Galaxy Note 8. 9. Apple Stores If you ever run into an issue with your iPhone 10, like a broken screen for example, you can just walk into one of the hundreds of Apple Stores around the world and get the issue resolved usually on the same day. Reason number 10, fast OS updates. On the iPhone, you get updated to the latest version of iOS pretty much as soon as Apple releases it, whether it's a major system upgrade or just a quick little security fix. Whereas on the Note 8, it usually takes several months before Samsung is able to push out an update. Meaning not only do you not get to enjoy the latest and greatest that Android has to offer on the Note 8, but more importantly, it means that you can be left vulnerable to security flaws for way longer than you would be on an iPhone. 11. Longevity If you plan on using your phone for longer than like two years, the iPhone is probably going to be the better bet, since Apple tends to support its phones for longer than Samsung. Case in point, the Galaxy S4, released in 2013, stopped receiving system updates in 2016, whereas the iPhone 5S, which was also released in 2013, is still running on the latest version of iOS 11. Which, by the way, the brand new Note 8 that just came out like less than four months ago is already running on an outdated version of Android. Think about that. 12. Resale value. Probably related to the fact that Apple supports their phones for longer than just a typical upgrade cycle, the iPhone tends to enjoy a higher resale value than Galaxies, which means that you'll get more money back when you eventually trade it or sell it. 13. 
Tap to Top. With Tap to Top, you can automatically scroll to the top of any screen by tapping on the status bar. This works system-wide in any app, and it's great for when you're really far down an email thread or a web page, and you want to get to the top quickly without having to swipe the screen a bunch of times. 14. Portrait Mode Not only does the iPhone 10 have Apple's new portrait lighting effects, but because of the new TrueDef camera system, portrait mode works on both the rear and front cameras, compared to being limited to just the rear cameras on the Note 8. Reason number 15. Vibrate Switch The physical vibrate switch on the iPhone not only makes it easy to quickly put the phone on silent whether the screen is on or off, but it also acts as a visual cue so you can tell if your phone is on vibrate or not with just a glance. 16. Easier one-handed use The Note 8's display is huge, and hey, that's an advantage in its own right, but one of the downsides is it's really hard to use with one hand. The top corner of the Note is practically impossible to reach compared to the iPhones, and depending on how big your hands are, the high placement of the fingerprint scanner can be uncomfortable to reach. 17. Parental controls Better parental controls with restrictions allow you to block content and actions through a password-protected setting, meaning you can make sure your kid isn't visiting any websites that they shouldn't be, and even have the option to prevent them from clearing the browsing history so you can monitor their activity. Sorry kids. 18 iMessage. If a lot of your friends and family members have iPhones, iMessage is going to be an app that you care about. iMessage not only lets you send messages with read and received indicators, but it also has things like expressive messages and emojis that use that new TrueDef camera system. You can play games right within a chat window. And in general, group messaging just seems to be a lot more consistent. 19. Spotlight Search With a simple swipe down from the home screen, you access Spotlight Search that lets you search for anything, whether it's an app on your phone, an app on the App Store that you want to download, a location in Maps, or even websites matching your search all in one convenient place. Reason number 20. True Tone Display While the OLED panel on the iPhone X is actually made by Samsung, Apple did add some of its own technology to it with True Tone, which automatically adjusts the display, specifically the whites, to look the same regardless of the environment that you're in. 21. Wi-Fi Password Sharing If you have friends come over to your house and you both have iPhones, you can share your Wi-Fi password with them automatically with a single tap by having them trying to connect. You'll get a prompt on your phone asking you if you want to allow them to connect, and without actually giving them the password itself, they'll be automatically connected to the network. 22. Attention Awareness One of the advantages that Samsung phones have had over iPhones over the years was Smart Stay, where the phone would keep the screen from timing out as long as you were looking at it. Well, with its True Depth camera system, not only does the iPhone X match this feature, but with Face ID, it's actually able to add on to it by keeping your notifications private on the lock screen until you look at the phone, and even intelligently lowering the volume of alerts when it knows you'll see them anyways. 23. Complete Phone Backup If you get a new iPhone, whether it's a replacement or an upgrade, getting all of your things transferred over is easy via iCloud or iTunes. And unlike the backup options on the Note 8, you get all of your data, including individual app data and login information. Whereas on the Note 8, you're limited to more of the basics when it comes to backup, and the backup is nowhere near as consistent. 24. Continuity If you own a Mac or an iPad, the iPhone has the advantage of allowing you to move seamlessly between your devices. You could do things like opening notes from your Mac on your iPhone, or answering a phone call from your iPhone on your iPad. And finally, reason number 25 better text input. So we already talked about the ability to get cursor control with 3D touch, but there's actually more to it. So while a half press on the keyboard gets you cursor control, when you add a little bit more pressure to the screen, you get the option to highlight words and sentences, which when combined with iOS 11's drag and drop features, along with shake to undo and redo, it makes situations where you're taking notes or writing a long message a lot easier on the iPhone than it is on the Note 8. All right, so now that you've seen why the iPhone 10 could be considered better than the Note 8, Click over here to see why the Note 8 could be considered better than the iPhone 10. Don't be closed-minded, watch both videos, and uh, again, be sure to vote for which phone you thought had the stronger reasons. But outside of that, that is it for me in this video. Thank you guys for watching, and as always, I'll see you in the very next episode.